Hello, Gemini. This is going to be your solar eclipse reading for the energies of the next six months. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. This reading is intended for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You could also be watching this for a Gemini that's in your life. The energy is super intense with this eclipse, and I know that so many of you are feeling the amplification of your thoughts and your intentions and if you were already feeling it this much, just know that Mercury Retrograde is adding to that mix from April 1st to 24th. Now, the next six months are going to be interesting because not only will we have this first round of Mercury Retrograde, there will be a second one in August, August 5th to 27th. And then our next solar eclipse is October 2nd. So again, the next six months are going to have some very potent energies. You know, we're going to take a look at what are the overall themes here for you. So let's start off with these Intuit Oracle Angel cards. And we have Archangel Michael. And I love, love, love that for you, Gemini. This is Defender and Protector of Earth. Reveals truth, restores faith, reassurance, strength, courage, resolve, and cutting cords. Call on me when you feel afraid, lonely, in despair, or in need of courage and protection. Now, Sapphire might mean something to you. Uh, funny, I'm filming this on Easter Sunday. It says Sunday right on there. And trust. I mean, trust the process. Trust that you are divinely guided and protected. How beautiful. Now, let's take another card here for your overall themes and messages for the next six months. We have Benefactor, Grace and Generosity. Now, Gemini, I know that you're very giving. Geminis are such overgivers, but I want to remind you that you are allowed to receive as well. So please lean back a little bit. Don't always be overgiving to everybody. Allow yourself to receive. And you have kindred partnership. Interesting. There's somebody very important in your life or coming into your life. Now, just so you know, I am offering personalized eclipse readings general ones and also love readings they have a slightly different format but they will go into detail about you know you and your person or your connection so those are available on my website but um, let's take a look with the tarot we're going to go through three layers we're going to look at the sun the moon and then some divine messages because this eclipse is basically the moon going between the sun and the earth so we're going to have things revealed Let's start off with the sun and see what you need to know. That is the I am energy. And we have here the five of swords. I just saw this actually with Taurus. Um, you know, you might be feeling a li little bit defeated or like you've been through battle. And this is telling you or reminding you to put down your swords. And the judgment card here says it's time for a wake up call. There's a total transformation happening for you. You might get some news. And there will be some clarity, some truth that comes your way. I do believe the eclipse is going to bring that to you. And with that, we have here the Empress. You are birthing a whole new cycle. Some similar cards to the Taurus reading. If you have any Taurus placements, you might want to check that out. But essentially, you are birthing a whole new cycle. This is about being creative and doing what you're passionate about. And the Three of Wands is telling you basically to... Stop sitting on the sidelines. If there's something that you're wanting to do and you're saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, there's never the right time. Never. So I want you to consider that. It also indicates, you know, we don't chase, we only attract. So in regards to a relationship or a kindred partnership, do not chase it. Allow yourself to be in your feminine energy here with the Empress. Because that's Venus, right? Self-worth, self-value, and self-respect. And there's the Ten of Swords. You've got to let a cycle end. Ten of Swords is something that is sort of dead, done, and over with, and uh, it's time to make some moves. Now, let's see. We have here temperance, patience, forgiveness, reconciliation. Something is brewing, right? And you can feel that eclipse energy brewing, and sometimes that's that fear and worry and anxiety, but just know that on the other side of that fear and that worry and that anxiety can be the best thing that ever happened to you. Now, with that, we have here the Hermit. So you're going to have to search your soul. You're going to have to ask yourself, what do you want? And with that, we have here the Six of Swords. I think you want peace. Peace. Now, just as an observation, we've got a lot of air energy, and no surprise. Um, but look right down this column here. You have strong air energy. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. 
Okay, let's take a look at the moon's energy. Let's see what you need to know. We have patience. Well, very similar cards to Taurus. Trust the process. <laughs> oh, the story of my life and all of yours, I'm sure too. You know, having patience is not easy. I always giggle that this is like giving the finger to the universe here, you know, because who likes patience? But honestly, it's the best lesson I've been given. And releasing. So there's going to be some sort of release here, transformation, news that comes in or truth that comes in that even releases you. And that clarity, knowledge. The sword is about knowledge. So knowledge is power, but what you do with that knowledge is even more powerful. That Empress card, forgiveness. There's a lot of beauty in forgiveness. A letting go of an old story that no longer serves you. And here we have truth. So again, there's truth coming to light. You've got a few repeating messages here. And love. Kindred partnership and love. You've got to let something go. In order to have new stages of love, you've got to let go of an old one. And that temperance, that patience, forgiveness, reconciliation, well, change your tune. Change your tune. you got to do different. You want different? You've got to do different. So this eclipse over the next six months is going to, is going to help you change your tune. Um, the hermit is going deep within and searching your soul. There's some shadow work that you've got to do. You've got to process it. Don't keep sweeping it under the rug. You know, sometimes Gemini energy can do that. We don't want to sweep it anymore. We want to confront it. And this is basically saying, go for it. You want peace? Go for it. It's really up to you. So let's take a look here at some divine goddess love cards. They're not just about love. They're general divine messages. Unmask. Reveal your thoughts and feelings. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I would say that Gemini energy really holds back at times. They're not the most expressive people in regards to their feelings. They don't like confrontation. They will keep the peace at all costs. Hold back. Bridge the gap with every small step. You're ascending. Take off that mask is taking a step. Mystery. Unlock the secrets that elude you. Definitely an energy of unlocking. There you go, hidden. The pearls, but opening up emotionally. Reveal the beauty beneath the surface. Very interesting energy. Um, this is about taking off the mask. So I'm really curious to see what you need to surrender or surrender to. I've been pulling these cards as the last bit of guidance randomly just because I'm realizing that maybe we need just one last message, you know? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Absolutely. Trust your inner knowing. One side note that I can tell you about Gemini is that I always find that for whatever reason, they... They push away their spirituality, especially when younger. You know, as they get older, they become more open to it, you know, hence why you may be watching this video. I think sometimes Gemini has a hard time distinguishing between their anxiety and their intuition because Geminis, from my experience, they go to sleep at night and the first thing they do when they hit the pillow is worry. They're thinking about every detail of everything and that doesn't help either because it means you manifest more of that energy. So, you know, trust your intuition, feel the wisdom of your body and go for it as this last card here said i really hope this resonates with you again if you would like your own personalized reading for this next six months of the eclipse synergy um, the link is in my bio i also do the relationship version as well and as always i appreciate your likes your comments your subscribes it really means the world to me so please let me know in the comments how you're feeling and i wish you an amazing next six months